Today I'm working on a 2003 Porsche Boxster. Car came in, it was towed in, and the um, customer states that it needs a clutch. Um, doesn't, you know, no forward gears, no backward, it doesn't move. So you can engage any gear you want with the engine running without touching the clutch pedal, and it does not move forward. So lifted up in the air, found his axle bolts on the on the uh, driver's side are all out, out of the flange, and it damaged the threads on the flange. So checking the history in it, I guess the um, customer did a lot of the repairs himself. He changed out um, a lot of these lower control arms and put new, you know, urethane sway bar links on it and shocks and had this all apart and uh, looks like didn't torque these to spec so bolts like this um they, they they almost will never come loose if they're tightened properly you, you don't even you know at, at this point i'm going to replace the uh the flange on the on the trans itself they come out pretty easy once the axle is out of here and um they, you don't really need to put Loctite on them, you know, nothing like that. If it's torqued properly and the manufacturer doesn't use Loctite, then it's not going to come loose. It doesn't just, it doesn't, it doesn't just happen. It's if something was left loose, not torqued properly. And that's why it happened. So, um, yeah, not that bad of a fix. Honestly, it's going to be a lot cheaper than replacing the clutch. Um, I think the axle itself survived. The, the little steel cup on the inside of the axle is going to have to be replaced the one that goes here some of the bolts are missing and bent i'm going to replace of course all the bolts along with these these little uh plates here and uh replace the flange because the threads are damaged and i don't want to really risk uh messing with those it's a pretty thin flange so torque it all up properly and it should be good so something to uh double check when you're working on your car thanks for watching